Hello there gorgeous people of the internet. In this video, I'll show you how you can jailbreak iOS 14.5.1. Apple just dropped iOS 14.5.1. I don't know why they did that because they just recently dropped iOS 14.5. But anyway, I'll show you how you can jailbreak it with a Windows PC or a Mac. Now this here is a Mac, as you might already guess. But if you have a Windows PC, go ahead and watch the video on the top right corner. This is a pathway. Have a Mac? Continue watching this video. Have a Windows PC? Go ahead and click on the top right and watch that video. As simple as that. Because if I show you how you can jailbreak with a Windows here, it's gonna be a complete mess. So open a browser of your choice for Mac users, Windows users if you're still here, go watch that video or click the link down in the description below. You have to search for Checkrain. I'll link this site down in the description below with every other link you need to get to jailbreak your device. As simple as that. Once you are here on their site, all you have to do, firstly let me set the exposure, yeah, all you have to do is to go ahead and click on get beta now. Now with their new beta, you can use NM1 Mac 2, but who cares, we'll click on allow. By the way, this here, yeah, this Mac is an M1 Mac. I'll quickly show you by the time it's downloading because it's gonna take like two seconds to download or something like that. You can see this here is an M1 Mac. Weird flex, but okay. Don't worry if you have any other Mac too, it's gonna work out. Open the downloaded location or whatever it is and launch the downloaded DMG file and you have to install it. Now, at this stage, you might already know how to install an app because if you have a MacBook, you use macOS and you know how to install an app in macOS, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Bottom does. line, just go ahead and grab the Checkrain application and drop it in Applications folder. Now this was quite easy, but there are many more things that we need to do and they are a bit complicated. So make sure to watch this video till the very end and very carefully. Alrighty, once you install Checkrain, here comes the tricky part. macOS will not let you open it because it's not verified. It's safe, it doesn't contain any malware or anything like that because my YouTube channel's password and everything is on my Mac and if I'm installing a virus, that means I'm doing more bad than good. So in an order to open it, you have to open system preferences, go to the privacy and general tab and you have to click on the little unlock icon, use your fingerprint or your Apple Watch to open it and click on open anyway. Relaunch Checkrain application and this time it will prompt you to open it. But if it doesn't, again click on open anyway. And this time, you can open Checkrain. I was editing this video and came to realize that I didn't explain the part where you have to open Checkrain quite well and it was a complete mess. But I'll try to do it again and it's like, it takes like hardly 5 seconds. Once you install Checkrain, all you have to do is to open system preferences and go to security and privacy and it will directly take you to the privacy tab. You have to go to the general tab and launch Checkrain. So macOS will say, hey, you can't open this up because it's not very for Don't worry, all you have to do is to click on cancel and don't move it to trash. Now at this stage, you have to click on the little unlock icon, use touch ID and security and privacy tab will automatically say here that Checkrain wants to open, but I, I didn't let it open, so you can open it anyway. And just click on open anyway, and just click on open. In short, settings, security and privacy, unlock it and force Checkrain to open under the general tab in security and privacy. Now, as you can see, Checkrain is live. Firstly, I'll quickly like turn on screen recording so that you can better see what's going around and I can put iPhone's screen here and there and sort of mess up with these things but again quickly show you iphone 7 running on ios 14.5.1 no cap everything's gonna be legit and it's gonna work for you and if it contains any virus malware or anything like that it won't like <laughs> i'm not here making these fake videos just go ahead and bring a lightning cable and connect your phone to your iphone using that lightning cable because like you can go ahead and check out my channel i've made like what 60 videos on jailbreaking and stuff 
I'm like quite interested in these things and I'm not doing these sketchy things to get views or whatever. Once you connect your phone to your Mac using the lightning cable, all you have to do and this is quite important. Your iPhone will prompt you to trust your computer to ensure that there is an active connection between your phone and your Mac. All you have to do is to click trust. Your phone will prompt you, hit trust, enter your password so that your Mac connects to your phone. Once you do that, you are set. Now at this stage, Checkrain will say that, hey, you can't jailbreak your device because iOS 14.5.1 is untested. Now it says it's untested. That doesn't mean it unsupported so make sure to watch this part and the rest of the video very very carefully if you're still here for some reason watching about till the very end i'll quickly like put the screen recording so that you can better see what's going around and to solve the problem where check range says it's untested go to options and you'll see allow untested ios and ipad os versions you have to enable this to make sure to jailbreak iOS 14.5.1. It's safe. I've tested it like multiple times and it works just like a charm. I bet you, please don't worry. This is not going to harm your device. Trust me. Now under check rain options, you'll see skip A11 PPR check. Only enable this option if you have iPhone 8, 8 plus or iPhone 10. Have iPhone 7? Don't enable it. 7 plus? Don't enable it. Just enable it if you do have iPhone 8, 8 plus or iPhone 10. As you might already know from the intro of the video, I have an iPhone 7. So I will not enable this option. The option where it says skip A11 BPR check. I'm not talking about allowing untested iOS versions. So I'll quickly go ahead and enable verbose boot by typing dash V. You don't have to do this thing where I enabled verbose boot. If you want, you can. It's just a look thing. It doesn't change anything in jailbreaking your device. It just makes the process visually appealing. So click on start and it will say, hey, this device is not tested. Continue at your own risk. Just go ahead and click on OK. I've tested it multiple times. And as you'll go through this video, you'll see I have successfully jailbroken my device at the end of this video. Now at this stage, it's going to put your device in recovery mode. If you don't know what recovery mode is, it's basically an option where you can restore your iPhone with iTunes. Apple also recommends it on their Apple support page that if you want to update your iPhone, it's better if you have a PC or Mac, just put your device in recovery mode and update it. From now onwards, most of the things are already mentioned on your screen and you have to do like hardly two steps to jailbreak your device and it's gonna turn out pretty darn cool. So for me, this says that you have to hold the power button and the volume down button for 10 seconds and after 5 seconds I have to release the power button but keep holding the volume down button. It's gonna be different for you depending upon which device you have. If you have an iPhone 6 you have to hold the power button and the home button. If you have an iPhone 10 it's gonna be completely different but it will be mentioned on your screen and that's the best part. By the way if you're enjoying this video please make sure to drop a like. Now check rain as you can see says that I have to unplug and replug my device. I'm like seeing it the very first time because this is the first time I'm jailbreaking my iPhone with my Mac. I use Windows to jailbreak it because uh, check rain didn't have M1 support but now it does. Anyway you can see all these cool things on your screen. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen on my iPhone. Trust me it looks so awesome and i love for you to try this on your own and jailbreak your device and maybe show it to your friends and like get their reaction but again the most important thing is it's completely safe now on my macbook screen it says it's all done and in fact it is but we have to do like hardly two more things to get this completely up and running it says all done. There might be some errors for you. I recommend pre-trying if they are, but for 99% of people watching this video, you're good to go. Type in your password. Don't tell anyone my password. And you'll see this check rain app on your home screen. If you don't, you have to wait for a bit. It like takes about 30 to 60 seconds for it to appear. This is what I'm talking about. Now open the check rain app and you have to click on Cydia. Click on install Cydia 
it's gonna download base system install city make sure you are connected to an active internet connection or you're using a wi-fi or cellular or hotspot or whatever and it's gonna do its thing you don't have to do anything please wait for a little bit it depends on your internet connection so it's gonna download base system it's gonna download Cydia, it's gonna install Cydia and it will automatically quit the check rain loader app that's on the screen. It quits it, you can see Cydia. Cydia is a package manager that every jailbroken device gets. Not every but like if you jailbreak with uncover or check rain tool. I'll quickly show you once again to confirm, firstly I'll focus this, yeah, iPhone 9.3 which is iPhone 7 and Cydia says it's running on ios 14.5.1 you can see i'm not faking this video or anything like that it's completely legit but now the main question that comes in is that what if jailbreaking doesn't float your boat and you want to unjailbreak your iphone or do anything yeah real quick this is an m1 mac again i'll show you see check rain now works on every single mac out there but yeah we were talking about what if jailbreaking doesn't sound your boat or like you just want to unjailbreak your iPhone. It's pretty easy. First of all, it, if Cydia was a bit suspicious or maybe sus, whatever you want to call it, you would not be able to unjailbreak your device, but simply tap on restore and your device will be unjailbroken if that makes any sense. Yeah, I was talking about how jailbreaking is very safe if you get the right tweaks and customize your iPhone the way you want it to. It is. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I want to say. So it's going to take some time for your iPhone to reboot because it's jailbreaking at this. It's unjailbreaking at this stage. So we'll wait for a bit and I'll fast forward the step. Yeah, we'll quickly enter the password and you can see uh, we enter it forever. You'll see there is no check rain icon, no check rain. Your device is not jailbroken. You can take it into an Apple store and they will never ever know your device was ever jailbroken. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, it truly helps out the channel. Doing these videos takes a lot of time, it's 8am when I'm filming this, but anything for you guys. Either way, that's pretty much it and I'll catch you all very soon. Peace.